at last, 14 months on from Olympic gold at super heavyweight. Here he is, the great new hope of British boxing. So what's he going to be? Is he going to be a future world champion? Is he going to be one of those that disappoints? Certainly his professionalism is something that's really caught the eye, Jim. This guy, and certainly until the punches start flying, this guy handles himself so well. Yeah, but I think he's really going to be popular. Frank Bruno was the most popular British heavyweight we've had. I think this fella could rival that. And when you think of what he's achieved, he started boxing at 18 to 22. It was an Olympic gold medalist. Phenomenal. They, well, what they have to work with there, with there is incredible. Now, he will go all the way, and by the time he gets all the way, they'll be looking for, for, for a heavyweight special. The Klitschko's will be gone, and he can well be the man. A lot of work to do, but he can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, six rounds international heavyweight contest. Introducing to you firstly and fighting out of the red corner when the black trunks trimmed with silver and yellow. Weighing in the 16 stone, six pounds, eight ounces. He is undefeated. Eight contests, eight wins, three inside the scheduled distance. Boxing for the very first time outside of his native Italy. Please welcome Emanuele Leo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks and weighing in a 16 stone, six pounds and 12 ounces, making his professional debut, having been the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. It's time now to unveil the future people's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Anthony Joshua. Timekeeper the bell is Bob Edgeworth and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Ian John Lewis. Six rounds, international heavyweight contest. Boxers. I am the referee. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, keep the punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. Shake hands. Well, this is where the journey begins, isn't it? Do we have another Lennox Lewis on our hands? Do we have another Aldi Harris on our hands? Or do we have something in between? We won't find all the answers tonight, of course, but at least the journey will begin, and it promises to be fun and exciting. And it's Emanuele Leo from Italy that's cast Seven in the role seven. of Al Malcolm and Mike Middleton. And if you want to know who they are, Al Malcolm was the debutant for Lennox Lewis back in 1989. Middleton for Audley Harrison in 2001. None of those two gentlemen lasted very long. Middleton went inside a round. Malcolm 19 seconds into round two. So let's see what Joshua can do with this fella. And the long right hands already just rocked him back. And a switch downstairs. Oh, and he's got him. Big solid right hand there has shaken the Italian. Didn't get his full power behind that. Was well delivered the shot. It was accurate, but he, his weight was moving back. The same punch for his mate moving forward uh, could give us an early night, I believe. It's amazing that these two scale almost exactly the same. But Joshua chiseled, the body shape's so different. There's another one of those long right hands, and Emanuele Leo is feeling those. There's another one going inside. He comes in with that unbeaten record of his. A couple of good jabs, and Joshua just teeing off with everything at the moment. Now you can see he's going to enjoy the, the pro game. There's a good professional look about his work here. Okay, we, we, we know about the opposition, you don't fancy it's going to be much in a pro debut, but uh, it's the way he's going about the job, you know, really professional looking. And taking his time as well, not looking to just come out and blitz him, looking to pick his shots. There's another one of those right hands, and the Italian hangs on. He's taking the punches, Leo, and he's uh, letting some punches go. <laughs> Not just making up the numbers, good on him. Joshua with a couple of spearing jabs getting through and on those right hands. The legs have turned to jelly, and he's ready to go already. There's another big shot, another couple more. He's still standing, but for how much longer the legs are dipping again? 
and John Lewis having a look. Well, he's brave, but he is just getting blitzed here. He cannot stop these right hands, and he's going to get hurt pretty soon if he's not careful. There's an argument to stop this already. Well, look how cool Josh is. He knows the end is in sight. He's not in any hurry, just taking his time to settle back down again. He knows he's one clean punch away from finishing this. And he's still got 40 seconds left to do it inside a round if he wants to, but he's taking his time, measuring his man. Give Leo some credit. He has taken some solid shots, still standing. Now an uppercut just jams him up. No, holding and, uh, and punching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want any of that. <laughs> He knows some tricks for a rookie. Oh. What is keeping Leo up? He is getting tattooed here, and he has to go, and it's over. That's what the fuss is about. He's destroyed a very brave opponent, and he hasn't broken a sweat. And he's looking around as if to say, is that what the pro game is about? Is it that easy? Well, no, it isn't. Not going down the road, but that's the kind of start you want when you're taking your first step in the pro game. Now, everything he did was class, and I'm pretty sure uh, he'll get himself back together again. He was forced to take some terrific punches. Uh, I mean, there was a case for stopping it a little bit earlier, but I think everyone would have been disappointed, uh, including Leo, because he was giving it a go. And thankfully, he's back on his feet again, and he's fine. So now we can talk about the performance of Joshua. Yep, very professional looking, it's only his first outing, but he was cool, several times he hurt Leo, but he just kept his cool, he knew the end was in sight, and uh, the finish was tremendous. It really was, and Leo was cut, he's getting some oxygen now, I think he's going to be OK, because he's, uh, he's already having a bit of a moan and complain in there, but... Uh... Yeah, this, this was clinical and ruthless, wasn't it, from Joshua? Yeah, and, and he, he has a presence about him for which sometimes you have to grow into, but as soon as he's shaped up, you can see how well he's adapted to the pro game. OK, fights are going to get a lot tougher than this. Opponents are going to be high, far higher class eventually, but this has been a special night for him, and I'm sure he'll be delighted by the way he executed the job. Terrific punch, and to his credit, Leo took a few punches like that, and he's taken this one, as you can see, and looking straight back. He came with a bit of ambition, let's keep in mind, he has an unbeaten record of his own. So, I mean, he comes uh, with pride to put on a show, and he's done that, but uh, Joshua, different class. The jab, you can see the, the snap in the jab, walking in with the punches, pouring the punches now, accurate, and John Lewis picked the right time to get him out of there. Yeah, you've got to like the timing, you've got to like the power, got to like the accuracy, you've got to like the spite as well. A little bit of edge about him in there, would you, you need that. Yeah, and the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew, if I don't get him out this time, I'll get him out next time. So he, he kept his composure, didn't allow it to get into a mess. Leo, for full credit, didn't grab hold and spoil. He tried to give it a go himself. So he gave Josh a the chance to look good and he certainly did look good well that is going to get British boxing buzzing even more than it is already and there's his family members they are loving it Watford's pretty empty tonight by the look of it and why not the golden boy here he is Anthony Joshua welcome to the pro game what an entrance Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Bob Edgeworth has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the first round. Leo is in no position to continue. Your winner on his professional debut, the future people's champion, Anthony Joshua. How important was it to get your professional career off with a statement like that? Uh, it was just as important as winning the Olympics because everyone's here to support and everyone's proud that we got the victory. Um, and it's just on to the next one now, put that one behind us, but I'm, I'm really happy with my performance. You put it right up there as as, as important a night to kickstart it like that. I think um, every time I step into the ring is as important as an Olympic final. I've got to take my career serious. But um, winning the Olympics was priceless experience as well. And this is my pro debut. There's only one pro debut, and we ended it in spectacular fashion. You look relaxed, you look cool, you're getting the jab working early. How did it feel without the head guard and with the little gloves on? 
If the little gloves feel really good. <laughs> I prefer the pro game a bit more to the amateurs. Not neglecting the amateurs, but um, it, like, it feels like the real deal when I was getting my hands wrapped. You know, it takes about 30 minutes to get your hands properly wrapped, slip my hands into these tight, small gloves. And uh, it's like two guys just coming out with their, with their heart on their sleeve trading, and I really enjoyed it. And he was unbeaten too in eight, so, you know, not, not a month for your first fight. No, nah, you could see he was game, he could take a shot, you know what I mean? He, he's got a winner's mentality, eight and oh, that's what he's in the game to do, is win. And uh, to do what I've done, it's just the start though, do you know what I mean? I don't want to get carried away, it's just the beginning, but we can build on that, and uh, that's the main thing. But you found your timing pretty quickly and got into a nice rhythm. Yeah, people have been asking me, I've been out of the ring for 14 months, but it just shows, like, if you stay in the gym and stay dedicated, I've got good family, I've built a really good team around me that keeps me grounded, and i just got to keep on grinding it out and keep on improving, so... Another 14 months in the ring, we'll see what happens. Your trainer alongside you, Tony Sims, in red hot form himself at the moment with a really good stable. How pleased were you with the way Anthony dealt with tonight? Yeah, really pleased, like in the changing room before the fight, you know, considering all the hype and the pressure that he's had around him all week, he was really calm in the changing room, as calm as a, you've ever seen a fighter. And, um, you know, once he got in there, he was nice and relaxed, got behind his jab, straight shots, one, two down the centre. You know, and you can see the power in the kid, you know, he's unbelievable power. And he's only a young kid, 23 years old. And, you know, you're going you're gonna to see this kid be a, a real, real star of the future. And he executed the plan swiftly and correctly. That's right, you know, bearing in mind the geezer was 8 0, never been beat, you know, an unbeaten fighter's coming to the ring like that, you know, and he'd he done, he done the business tonight. Promoter Eddie Hearn, one or two butterflies beforehand, before he went in? Yeah, especially taking on an, an undefeated fighter, 8-0. You know, that was a, a, a great performance. Every step is going to be a learning curve. You know, three weeks, we're back out October the 26th, Sheffield Arena, for the Kel Brook Senchenko card. And, you know, I'm so excited about Anthony Joshua, not just because he's a great talent, but I think we've got a real chance of a role model and ambassador in the sport of boxing, someone that young people can look up to. And this is going to be a great journey. So keep him busy and keep him uh, in front of a casual audience. Bring boxing right back up. Exactly. And with Anthony Joshua, we've got every chance to do it. Let's box him October 26th, November 23rd on a Frotch Groves undercard. Maybe even take him to Germany when dazzling Darren Barker destroys Felix Stern. Loads of opportunities. Keep him active. We've got a massive star on our hands. Finally, Anthony, back in, in front of your home crowd. Just sum up the, the whole evening tonight. Fast to sum up the whole evening. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime, my pro debut, it's never going to happen again. And I just want to say, main thing is thanks to everyone that came out to support and everyone at home that was watching. You know, I'm proud of my cousin Ben Eliyemi as well, he got his win. You know, so we're on the rise right now and um, just a good entrance to the professional game. A long, hard journey ahead, but you believe you can go all the way, don't you? I'm not saying anything just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your night, see you soon, Nancy, well done.